Oh hello buddy and welcome to another Lost Dark Beginner's Guide. So in this video I will take you through what Guardian Raid is and you probably you know new to Lost Dark and you want to know about in-game content in this game and I'm here to show you what it is. So basically Guardian Raids is a content that you will be doing after you finish doing a few of the Chaos Dungeons or you reach your item level 302. You of course also need to go to level 50 in the game to actually reach it. Make sure you have all your setup with your gear that you want to use, the potions and battle items you want to bring and the tripod skills you're going to want to use within the dungeons before signing up. Guardian raids can be done twice per day, so this should be, you know, the part of your daily routine. So it's kind of important to do it if you want to like increase your gear level and, you know, upgrading your items. Before you can actually find Guardian Raids, you would have to go to a zone here called North Burn, as you can see here on my game right now. And in the bottom, you can see there's a castle down here called Burn Castle, where you'll find it in the top called Guardian Raids. It's very easy to find. After that, you will be finding here the table over here. You can talk with it over here. And you will see you have different tiers. You can do tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5, tier 6. It's all good and very well. For the people who's going to play in Europe and NA, <clears throat> we are only getting tier 1 and tier 2 and probably some of the tier 3. So we won't get tier 4 and 5 and 6 yet since they're going to roll out the content in a slow pace so we don't get, don't get too much. As you can see in the top here, you can see this is how many times you can do it every day. So you can see the first one I adjusted was, was Urunil, which is the first boss for tier 1. You can see the rec recommended eye level, well, item level I need for killing this boss is 302, which I already have. And then click on the next boss, it will actually show you like the recommended level on the next boss or the second boss. I'll just hide my webcam for a moment so you can see what it actually looks like in full screen. But as you can see right now, tier 1, the different bosses all have different like eye level. And again, the higher you go in tier, the stronger and stronger it gets. But again, keep in mind as we are playing on Europe and NA, if you're playing those, you will only have up to tier 3 on launch itself. You might think, what is this bonus points over here? But I can actually answer that. This is basically bonus points you will get if you don't do the content on a daily basis. So basically, if you do um, not log in, let's say today, but you're going to log in tomorrow, you for each of the bosses you didn't kill on the day you didn't log in, you will get 10 rest points, which is basically a half of these bars. Well, yeah, so you can see 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So every time you don't kill the bosses twice, because you probably had to go to a family dinner or anything like that, and you hadn't time, or it was a movie night with the wife, the boyfriend, the man, whatever, then you will get a free bonus bar for each of that. You might ask, what does that mean? Well, whenever you kill the boss, you will be claiming their soul and getting all this tasty loot, as you can see in the right corner. But if you don't kill the boss um, today, and both times today, like both buses, you don't kill them today, then tomorrow you will get a free loot. And then, of course, if you put math together, it will make sense that, of course, it's going to be better if you do the buses, if you lock in every day, because then you get two loads. But if you don't log in today, then tomorrow you will just get a second load. So basically, I will get then three loads. So you can see, if I log in five days a row, I will get 10 load. But if I don't, I would just, you know, kind of get like the half. I hope you can, can see what I mean. Like, for the, if you don't kill two bosses today, then you get a third, well, a second additional loot tomorrow when you do it. So when I log in tomorrow, I will get my normally two souls that I will be doing up here, but also a bonus. And yes, it's currently, if you don't log in then for five days, you will have your full bonus bar filled up. And which means that next time you're going to do a bus, you will get your normally garden soul loot and all the five automatically. They will be used automatically, but it requires you actually kill the bus in a successfully attempt. So you need to kill the bus and loot it before it actually uses all these guardian souls or else it won't be using them. The item you're going to get from this guardian raids is very 
cool because its items these upgrade stones you will be getting is actually not bound to the character it's so you can actually feed your main character and this is the cool thing you can do these guardian raids up to six characters on each account so basically you could do it on six characters and send all these items to your main account or sorry not main account main character which will then be the strongest and get most power out of it which is a kind of cool tool so this is the way you can like feed your main character and make it even stronger so again go for it get always try to get the strongest one as you go but keep in mind you know try to have you know the required eye level for it keep your potions on you have probably a possibility of flare so you can hide show the bus and so on so that's like the recommendation on how to get in. Once you actually get in and begin to fight, you will see that, well, before you actually get in, sorry, you would ha you have like two possible options to actually find a group. You can either enter alone and just try a solo a boss. You can do that, but it will take time since the boss actually has a lot of HP. You can also do matching where it automatically finds a group for you, which is pretty useful and I like that. But you can also click on search where you can like find a manual group for it. So if it's one of the very hard bosses and you might want to find like a group where you can see everyone have done it before, then you can do it that way either. But then when you get in, um, if you played Monster Hunter or you played Dauntless, it's pretty much the same. You get into like a big map where you have to find the boss and then go and attack him. If you have one of the flares in your inventory, I'm just going to show you one here. One of these flares, put it up here, these signal flares, then it will actually display the location of the Guardian at the, on the minimap. Then you don't have to run around and, and waste time on finding him. It's a traditional thing that the first person in the party uses it then next time he's gonna flee and runs a new location second person do it and then third and fourth so everyone has like the same party order that's just like a you know tradition from the russian or korea server so you know we can either bring it over or just like do a roll or you know what i mean but yeah you know like you know uh, what is it called stone paper cut yeah you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, so that's the other way you can do. But beside of that, once you get into the bus, I highly recommend you to just recommend you to, you know, probably look one of the buses up, look the buses up on YouTube or Google before you actually fight it, because the buses have different mechanics, which if you don't really know them, you can end up wiping or failing and dying. And I mean, that's how it works. But yeah, look it up, try go in, find the bus, kill it. And you know, do it twice a day. And again, if you cannot log in, it doesn't. It's not a problem. You can be away from your PC for five days. It will just like rest up bonus. You're not gonna get you know both runs. You're just gonna get one run for each day you're not on. But you know what I mean. So that's pretty cool with the game. It respects your time. It respects that you have anything else to do besides play this game. So, but that was just my like very basic beginner guide for, or oh, beginner guide, yeah. For guardian raids i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions anything like that and again on the 8th of february the game will be releasing i'll be live streaming on youtube on my channel dwalen youtube.com slash dwalen dk and i'll be live streaming 24 hours i have plenty of giveaways so if you want to join the giveaway party the launch party with me on stream well come and join me on youtube on the celebration day and you know let's just hang out together and have fun Thanks for watching, have a great evening everyone, and see you in our video. Bye.